So this is the second semi-final version of the controller. As you can see, a lot of progress has been made here. We have tilt like this, play and bam. We can select players up to four and we can exit the game. And of course, this huge pause button. So let's play Stones and Bones. One player. Right here. One. Cool, huh? Okay, let's play. Here's how the tilt works. The great thing in this game is that you can unpause it using every other button. So as long as you hit pause, you can unpause it with flipper or with you know, tilt. Now we will exit the game, look. Yes. And we are going back to the main menu. The lights here are powered by this battery and it will be replaced by uh, rechargeable batteries later. I need to tear down these tiles in order for the window to be replaced. I've moved this a little bit to see how it, how it goes and it is not so bad. Let's see, gently. I don't have any spare ones so if I will destroy anything then we will have a problem. These were the hardest to cut in four different places. Yeah. Hi. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Here we have this dead raccoon head and it's been a month and I still haven't boiled it yet. So it's time to toss the raccoon on the bobby as <laughs> It smells absolutely horrible. I'm not gonna even show you how it looks. Now let's see inside. There it is. Oh, we have maggots. 
Okay, so I have this pot here in which I will boil the head. We'll leave this for now. I will wash one of my t-shirts, number 11. Let's see. Okay, this one is nice. I would like to frame them. Beautiful discoloration here. They will be a part of my wall of curiosities. The wall of curiosities, coming soon. I'll let this dry and I'll frame it later. So the bad smell is gone after a few minutes. Look, I'm... Look. Nothing. Nothing. Despite the view, of course. <laughs>